Okay, so let's start from the um, work that we de do with the oil and gas field. And there we are experimentally and computationally studying how what we call passive films on surfaces of metals um, protect the base metal itself. So in a corros corrosive environment, the metal responds to the environment by forming what we call a native film. So this native film is more like ceramic in nature, like an oxide or a sulfide, unlike the metal itself. And it um, naturally slows down corrosion. But there are different types of films in oil and gas field that form. And they have different types of or different extents of protectiveness against the environment. And we are understanding how these differences occur based on the intrinsic properties of the materials by doing advanced computational work as well as experimental work. And well, these materials have been around for many decades, but nevertheless, the models that industry uses in predicting corrosion that relies on this passive native film on the surface is rather rudimentary. And we need to understand better the physical mechanisms behind the protectiveness of these inherent native coatings, we can say so that we can improve our models to predict the lifetime of the structures more accurately. So let's exemplify the nuclear work, also related to corrosion. So a side product of corrosion with water is the release of hydrogen. So if you corrode a metal with water, water splits and it releases hydrogen. Okay? And this hydrogen can either leave the surface which is what we want, or it can be incorporated through the surface into the bulk of the material. And once it does that, it degrades the load-bearing properties of the metal. So this is called hydrogen embrittlement. And again, the role of hydrogen in the metals has been widely studied, but where it goes through is the surface itself. And the surface has this passive layer which in that case is an oxide, not a sulfide, like in the oil field. Okay? So now we are dealing with an oxide whose surface reacts with water, releases hydrogen, and that hydrogen will either leave the surface and go away or be uh, incorporated into the metal through the surface film. And that surface film, in terms of its hydrogen absorption properties, have not been studied because it's a very confined interface. It's in harsh environments, again, the physical processes that are governing it are not well defined, not well known. And we have performed computational work in understanding how hydrogen absorption and transport can take place through this critical interface and have surveyed different compositions that could be used for altering the physical properties of this interface and have identified a trend that shows us how easy it is for hydrogen to be soluble into this interface and how difficult it is for hydrogen gas to leave the surface. So the former we don't want, the latter we do want. And based on the trends that we find the, um, correlated to what we call the electronic structure of this interface, we could actually indicate compositions that are more desirable, more resistant against pulling the hydrogen into the material during the corrosion process. 